So there are a number of different ways of working with a style presets inside of uh, Automatic 1111 1.6. We can come over here and grab some style presets from ones that we saved in the past and you can see them all over here or we can even go here and uh, then we can bring up different styles and uh, either we could edit them and save them um, we can delete styles. We can go ahead and uh, bring styles into the main window by clicking on this button. What I'll do here is, however, look for a different way of working. And a reminder that I have got a course on le learning generative AI with SDXL, Stable Diffusion and Comfy UI. This is the entry level one. And there's also now an advanced one as well as another course on Automatic 11.11. Uh, you'll find links with some discounts in the description. Uh, I want to uh, get to this uh, extension here and uh, install this so that we can see what it actually does. So it's an extension for Automatic 11.11, 11, uh, which res reverts some of the UI changes that came with uh, 1.6. Um, we can go ahead and just uh, basically copy this here. So we can click here and copy that and then we can go into automatic 1111 and in the extensions area we can go and look at install from url and i'm just going to paste the url here you can see i've already done that and then we can just click on install it confirms installation so we'll have to go and uh, use the install tab to apply and restart so we've restarted and as you can see we've got a number of new icons here so if we wanted to we could actually bring up a, a new icon and uh, let's see mm, let's choose let's choose this guy here and if we now click on this icon it does apply all the styles into the area here so that's a little bit easier it just removes one step that uh, we didn't really need to have and if i wanted to save the option save these options we could now save the options here so we can use the save button here to save the style you can uh, delete um, and you can also distribute this style uh, using the, this option here the uh, the distribute button so you've got a few more options that replace some of the well basically restore some of the stuff that was missing uh, in the 1.6 update and we have a more familiar way of working if we we're using uh, older versions of a stable diffusion automatic 1111 what i'll do is to have a link to the project in the resources for the lecture and uh, you'll be able to use this particular extension as and when you need it